Hey guys, I'm Ryan Naylor and this is how you can play Craving by James Bay. Uh, I see this is his new single and the opening cut to Chaos on the Calm. I really do like this one, very kind of Kings of Leon inspired. So I thought I'd bring this one to you today. So we have two parts I'm going to take you through. I will show you how to play the intro and then the chorus on the electric guitar. And then I'll take you through the rest of the song on the acoustic. So you'll see how you can strum through this. So what I will do, I will add this video to my other James Bay tutorials in a playlist. So you can go and check those out. Click on the I in the corner and you can go and see my other song lessons on his stuff. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already part of the family. And give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the video. It really does help me out. All right, let's get stuck in on the neck and go through the song. So things to note before we get stuck in, we are in 4-4, 125 BPM, and our tuning with open strings, we are D, G, C, F, A, D. Everything is tuned down one tone or one whole step. Okay, so taking the intro, we have some double stops. We're picking both the G and the B strings. I'm starting up in the 8th fret on the B string using my 2nd finger and what we have is we have 8th notes 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and and we go 8, 8, 8, 7, 7, 7 note the G string continues to ring so it's 8, 8, 8, 7, 7, 7 12, 12 in that first measure that's and then you sit on that 12th fret for the next measure I think that was enough. And then you do a similar thing again, but then instead of going to 12, you open this str the B string. So those together make this. Second time you do uh, the first two measures again. And then on the end, we have this. So it's 8, 8, 8, 7, 7, 7, 8, 8, 8. So the rhythm there is 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... And it gets held into the verse. Now there's lots of little kind of licks going on over the acoustic in both verses, but I'm not going to cover that today. I'm just going to take you through the chorus strumming because it uses some nice chord shapes which I've covered in previous videos, namely these. Okay, so, excuse the, excuse the tuning. It's a bit hard for this guitar to stay in the tuning. We are going to be E minor on the chorus. We have this grip, fingers one and three, and then we go down to C kind of shape. Then up to the tenth fret for the G. And then for the D chord, he does this. And in the album version, I think it's quarter notes that are played. One. Thumb over the top for the D chord as well. But I think live and other performances I've seen is eighth notes. So you strum everything kind of all down at this point. So the chorus progression, which is done three times, this is the electric part. Play it clean. And then you kind of I think it's like a C octave um, at the end. And then we're back into the intro part. And then the electric parts. So coming out onto the acoustic guitar, the tuning is the same as before, D, G, C, F, A, D. And what we have in the intro and in the verse is this nice little move going from a G chord, finger with fingers three and four, 
because we're going to move to this. Which is your C chord, but with a G bass. Okay. And I'll play it through first and then I'll break it down. So we strum down, down, up, down, up, down in that first measure. One, two, and three, and four. On beat four, we change to the C chord. I'm going to call it just a straight C. So it's G, two, and three, and C. And then you stay on that C chord for the next measure, strumming eighths, down, up, down, up. Three, four. And then the same rhythm in the third measure as the first, but we move back to the G on the beat number four. One, two, and three, and four. So again, that all together goes like this. One, two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. And one, two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. Now, I've, I think it's a bit more tr complicated than that. There's some 16th note going on. I've just simplified that rhythm to get you through uh, if you're kind of a less of advanced player. But that's done twice and the intro underneath that lead part. And then the verse at 16 seconds is exactly the same thing. You just play that thing uh, four times. As we hit the chorus at 47 seconds, we're going to be going down up eighth notes on an E minor chord. Pink is up on the top, I think, for this one. And C with pink on top, then G and D. Do it three times. And then on the last bit, one minute ten, we go C, C, C. So it's down, up, 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 down, up, up, down, up. There's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and then you're back into the intro. So break at 1 minute 14, same as the intro. Verse 2 at 1 minute 21, it's that same thing again, played four times. Chorus 2 at 1.52, it is the same as it was before. Um, and at 2.15 again, it's down, up, 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 down, up, up, down, and break at 2.19. Okay, so at the end of that break, in that last measure of the line, we go from G, C, G. One and two and three and four and. And then we go on the bridge of 227 to the D chord. I'll play that the bridge all together and then I'll break it down. So we start on the D chord for one measure. Note the rhythm is one, two, and three, and four, and stay on the D. One, and two, and C, and G, and E minor. Two, and three, and four, and E minor, then C, and G, and D. Two, and three, and four, and D, and two, and three, and A minor. C, two. Three, four. So in the A minor measure, it's one and two and three and four. Down, up, up, down. And then we hit the chorus again. The chorus at 242, the chords are being strummed kind of once. I think it's actually more in the piano and the accompanying instruments, but we can put it on the guitar. So we're going to just strum the chords once. Mm -hmm. hey, great. Something I can hear. And then the, the strum just changed a little bit there. But then we're back at two. Back to as we were before. And 
then at 3.09, we are the outro, really. There's some, some lead stuff going on. It's essentially, it's the same intro verse progression again, played four times. And on the fourth time, you basically just stay and hold on that last G measure. So it's going to be, I'll play it as if uh, this is the third time. So I'll do it twice. Okay, this is the third repeat at 3.24. Yeah, it's one, two, three. Last time. You stay on the G and that's the song. So there you go, guys. That was the song. Hope you found that enjoyable. If you did, don't forget to give me that thumbs up, yeah? Subscribe for more and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.